the last time I was here, what was it? 2019, I want to say. Two years ago. Is this all right? Yeah, I think so. That's crazy. That's crazy. I lo- a lot has changed here, man. You know. Well, you could say that again, man. <laughs> the blinds and whatnot. Yeah, man. But how, I mean, like, what, what's what, what's been different since the last time that we chatted? Um, far? As far as, like, the world? Your world. My world. <laughs> yeah, a lot more solitary. That's for sure. Working like, out. Uh, what, uh, who, who who had that, that song? The solitary, the weirdo, solitary confinement. Did the, they have a song called Solitary Confinement? Yeah, yeah they did. Huh. Definitely. In, in Life of Crime, that Dude, was like their my, two big My ones. punk, my punk uh, knowledge is lacking, man. I'm, I'm I'm just letting you know what the, what the kids are listening to right now. You know. Are they listening to the weirdos again? I'm gonna say they are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was a band recently called. Um, my buddy that owns a coffee shop that I like to go to, Eco Coffee. It's like my spot. Sometimes I'll I'll hear something that I've never heard in there, like he's playing. Like uh, there was this band, uh, Bam Bam from Seattle, like in the 80s. That was a really cool band. That's rad. Yeah. yeah. It seems like coffee shops are always playing the, 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 the new stuff. And I've, I've been going to a lot of new ones recently. I'm like, oh, man, I like I like this song. I like this song. Usually it's not like that, you know? For me, at least, the, the places I frequented. You must go to those third wave shops, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm real preppy, anyways, you know. So, yeah. This shop's more second wave. It's more '90s. Yeah, yeah. But he does, he plays some good music. Yeah, yeah. That's good. That's oh. good. It's, it's, it's always, it's always nice to have like some, some good music playing wherever you are, though. You know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What did you, did you have a Walkman, back in the day? Yeah, when I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When did when, when did you stop listening to tapes? Oh, I've still got some tapes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do yeah. you do you got, you got a tape player? Yeah, I've got like some little my little cassette quarter. I got I got a tape player on my record console. I don't think it works though. Well, it was dual anymore. dual bad boys. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got a little stereo with a tape player outside. I got yeah. some tapes. To listen to some so Beach Boys stuff. Some you know, got some Neil Diamond. Very nice. Lost a lot of tapes over the years. <laughs> it sucks when the when the case breaks. Yeah. And then you're like, this is just a man without the country at this point. There's nothing to put it in. Do you keep the J card? That's that's the whole thing too, you know? The J card. The 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 little uh the cover with oh. the quarter of the back and the spine yeah, yeah. the front. Yeah. Right, right. What do you do with that? That's not going anywhere, you know. Yeah, I got bummed at one of my Tapes got eaten by the other day. And I'm like, dang it. And I just I threw it all away. It's the worst. What, what, what tape was it? Shoot. Come to think of it now, I don't remember. It was a while ago. Just spits but back out at you. That's, yeah. That's the, that's the worst. I, yeah. I, I do love tapes because they're, they're, they're so small. And they're, I mean, they're, they're pretty affordable. I think like on the on the upper end, I actually saw a, a repressing of the the fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. The Dead Kennedys one. It was twenty bucks. I was like, that's steep. Twenty bucks for the for the tape. For the tape. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot. It's yeah. That's what you uh, probably get the record for. Well, five I bucks know. more. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, you like five bucks more. And I, thirty I, bucks. I, I would listen to the tape more, but it's 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 it's, it's too much. It's too pricey. It's not. It's, it's not my price range now. I agree, man. Yeah. I think this is recording pretty well, though. So, so so far, and, but I'm I'm really gonna find out later on when I listen back to it if, if this is really catching it. But you know. do you want to listen back now to see if you no, got it? No, no, I like to I like to go in without a without a care. You know. Oh, all right. Yeah. Are you able to EQ it or whatever to get it right? No, no. this is not professional. Oh, not professional show. No, it's just me doing this. No, I wouldn't trust myself doing this. And I I still don't. You know, mm. so no team behind me. I, I, I got to get some sponsorship, though. Maybe some, like, uh, McDonald's or something, you know? That'd be good. Or Wendy's. I went to McDonald's the other night and got, like, it was just, like, late night after I went to a, a show. And uh, I just had to take a pee. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to go to this McDonald's. I guess I'll order something. I'm hungry. Hadn't eaten there in years. And the chicken years. sandwich. Multiple Yeah, years. yeah. Chicken sandwich tasted like crap. It wasn't very good. The fries sucked. 
Yeah. I wasn't wasn't missing it. I will tell you this, the coffee there is Oh yeah, the good. breakfast stuff is still tastes good. So you'll, the coffee you'll, is you would you'd yeah. hit it for breakfast more yeah. than dinner. Yeah. Once in a while, like if I'm on a work thing, like I gotta go up to Northern California or something with a long drive, I'll hit up McDonald's. Yeah, it's always open. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What was your first job that you ever had? Uh I think uh, working at the McDonald's. No, I never worked McDonald's. I worked like a day camp when I was in high school, like in the summer. Technically, it's my first job. My more like real first job was working at the school district when I was in college, like for the after school program, yeah. college aid. Yeah, I was. I missed that, that job. Oh, I love that job. The kids are. I miss those kids. Every once in a while, I'll see some kids, and they're like adults now. It's crazy. Yeah, that's uh, that. Uh, it's always odd when you're like, "Oh, that was a you were a kid, kid." You were a little kid, and now you're behind the bar, like serving <laughs> drinks. That must be wild. I haven't I haven't experienced that yet. That's that's gonna be crazy. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Um, how how often are you inspired by uh your you know your your job to be writing music? Does it ever play a part in it um yeah creature of the night you know one of our first our first smash hit uh that was inspired by because i had a job after after the daycare thing i went on to get into restaurants and i was a waiter at a 24-hour restaurant called shore house so um yeah that was like working from 10 p.m. to 6.30 in the morning, like there was Wednesday through Sunday, basically. Like um, uh, if I wasn't playing shows, I was working there on the weekend. Um, that's rough. And that's kind of where the theme of Creature of the Night came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Man, I mean, that that's, that's it's, it's, it's a rough shift. It's yeah, like, I kind of miss it in some ways. I made good money. It's an easy, well, it wasn't always easy, but I made good money. Um, I mean, for slanging plates, but uh, it was fun sometimes. You could kind of mess around at the job. Yeah, yeah. Walk out with some nice, nice wad of cash in your pocket. Yeah. Meet interesting people. Yeah. And I mean, like, who's, who's, who's going to go to eat? Like, I mean, I, I oh, a lot of people. You know. Drunk yeah. people, you know, after they get out of the bar. Sure, sure. Yeah, all sorts of interesting people. How, how long did you keep that gig for? Uh, I think like six years. So not, Five or I six mean, years. Just barely, just barely hung on to it then. Oh, uh, just. I mean, six years is a long time. Yeah, yeah. I just I didn't want to work graveyards anymore. I I I couldn't imagine why. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's some good times though. Yeah, yeah. This so, is cool when I was in my twenties. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. That's that, that that's right around so like tw- what twenty, mid twenties. Yeah, I think it was like like twenty six or something when I got the. Yeah, yeah. Got the gig. I mean, that's the, so that's that's where the the idea for creature of the night creature yeah. rather yeah started. Man, that's that is really interesting. You uh you seen that song fired too? Was that about a particular job? That was that was when I went to go be a uh, car salesman and uh I was working at a Hyundai dealer and that was that was fun but yeah I got fired after a couple months <laughs> not for doing anything bad just like didn't meet the sales quota for the month and like all right you're one of the, you're one of the bottom guys you're out <sighs> that's how it works in car sales because the guys, when I got let go, I mean, it's not it's not like getting fired. It's not like, you're fired. It's just, that's how sales go, you know? And, right. and salesmen get let go from one dealership, and then they go on to... The guys told me, oh, yeah, I've been to like 10 different dealerships, so that's just how it is. Sheesh, you rotate around. Yeah. Were you were you really stressing over it, though? No, not really. So you, you played up for the song? Um... Yeah, I was. I mean, I was, I was stressing a little bit. I I gotta say. Yeah, yeah. Um. 
in that, s- certain it, ways. The the next job after the the twenty the graveyard shift at the at the restaurant. I'm trying to think, what did I do? Yeah, I think that was pretty much my next job. Yeah. Wow. And then what was what was preceding that? Uh, before the sorry, not preceding. So, Seceding is that the is that the antonym for that? sure seceding yeah that sounds we'll, we'll right. go with that we'll go with it feels it. good coming off the tongue succession yeah, yeah. yeah. succession yeah um what we're gonna be wrong after that yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be wrong I'm, that's okay I'm gonna hear about it it's alright I don't mind being wrong um what did I do after that it's uh I think I was a para educator like working for the school district that was a cool job back to going into ed- education. Yeah, I like that. I did that for a little while. That was kind of, there's nowhere to go anymore with that job. It used to be more of a career path, but now it's not really. It's kind of you are where you are. Yeah, you just get an hourly and you can't really move up or anything. Right, right. So, right. yeah. But, uh, yeah, now I'm doing wood, wood stuff. How long are you doing the, the wood stuff for? Uh, yeah, I think since like 2014-ish, 15, yeah. Some years under the belt there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is is it? Do you, you like doing that too? Yeah, it's cool. I get to work out of my house. It's nice. That's rad. Commute's a bitch though. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah, I gotta roll out of bed. Go all the way to the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. First, I go to the coffee shop, get a little coffee, you know. And eco, then take eco it easy. lab. Yeah. Right? Eco, no, no, eco. no lab. No lab. Yeah. Maybe a lab. Maybe later on. Maybe. <laughs> no, it's it's called Eco Coffee. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Yeah. All right. I I I, I want to plug the businesses. I do. I, I I really like to support the 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 small guys like um you know Amazon, you know FedEx. I did not yeah. ship stuff out of. Oh, FedEx. you just reminded me. I I kind of almost worked for FedEx too. <laughs> when, when, but when I, I didn't that? know that. Like I I talked to a guy about getting an interview there, and then I. I thought it was like UPS, but it wasn't. It's, I go to the FedEx yard, like the big old, you know, the big, huge warehouse and the lot with all the trucks and everything. And, um, for a driver job, you know, to deliver. And, um, I found out it's like independent contractor run. Like you own a route, like all these contractors own routes and the FedEx name is on the trucks, but they're technically not they're they're not liable for an accident or anything. It's the contractor has his own insurance or his or her own insurance and then um you kind of just uh you're driving for that contractor yeah, that under under the FedEx name, but you're technically not a FedEx employee. Well, long story short, like I did an the affiliate? Tr- That's <laughs> well, yeah, I mean you're just you're you're yeah, I guess so, but you're you're under um that umbrella, but you're not under the umbrella of like liability or insurance or anything. And you're not working for FedEx. So they trained me. It was really unorthodox. And I was in the truck. They didn't even know if I had a driver's license or not. They just let me get, here's the keys of the truck here. Start training. You can drive this box truck around. It's pretty fun. I like driving the truck. So I'm driving around FedEx and like learning to parallel park it and all that stuff. And it was, it was fun. I was good at it. And I passed like, Oh yeah, you passed. And they spent all this time training me. But then once I was trained, the guy's like, oh, it turns out I don't have any openings for you. You know, I'm going to send you over here, though, to this other company and you can get a job. But I didn't get an interview because they're like, you don't have any experience. So I didn't end up working for FedEx or that other company. So I, yeah, that was kind of a bummer. That was a waste of time then. Yeah, it was a waste of time. Besides driving the truck. It was a waste of time. It seemed fun at the time. Like, oh, I'm going to get a job out of this. This is great. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been in, yeah, I, I'm the kind of guy that gets in those situations where it's like, oh, this person wants to hand me a job. And then it just snatches it. Yeah, for everybody out there, if somebody wants to hand you a job, it might not be legit, you know? Like, you might want to, you might want to thoroughly examine. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. That, I mean, that's, that, that's important in any facet, but yeah, especially for a job. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that would have been cool, though. Parallel park. Yeah, though. that would have been fun. Yeah, yeah. What's a what's a job that you would like to have? Like a, like like another job that you think that would be fun. Um, it'd be cool to have a job where I could um, just go surfing. 
and then uh, play some guitar and just get some money for it. I don't know. That'd be rad. Yeah. Yeah. That might be cool. You can make it. Make that. Make that job. Yeah. Maybe there's something out there. There's yeah, some yeah. opportunity out there. I don't know. When did, when did you start surfing? How old are you? I was like 12. It's pretty old. Pretty yeah. old to be getting out there. No. <laughs> no. 12 is the cu- cutoff. You're just 11 and no, under. No, I wouldn't say that's that. What, that's when you got to start. That's when you got to really... Well, that's better, it's, but no, you don't have to. <laughs> you can get out there. You, can get I, out there. you know what, man? I, I, I really do want to, but I, I truly do feel that. I mean, it's because there's so much, like, I don't want to piss off anybody, snake anybody's wave or anything like that. You well, know? don't snake anybody. Okay, that's that's a good starter, but, you know, I don't trust myself. Maybe I'm like, yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy. He's, he's that, that looks like a tasty wave. I want to I want to be a part of it. You got to abide by the rules, man. Priority. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How, uh, do you, is there, um, I mean, I don't want to blow up your spot where you go, but is there some, I mean, not localism, but like, okay, that guy, that guy's an older dude. You let him go and then the the young bucks take over afterwards. Is it, is that, is that what rolls at your beach? Nope. It's that's just not, that's not how it rolls anywhere. All right. As far as I know. See, this is the learning process. See, yeah, I got to yeah. know this stuff before you even get out there. You're just telling me to shoot out there and just go wherever. All right. Okay. All right. So I'm, no. I'm, I'm following you. So, but I mean, there is like a pecking order in some sense. Like if that guy's been sitting out there, you let him go. Uh, no, it's more just, you got to be in the right position. Like here's, here's the peak of the wave, you know? And like, like if it's breaking right, you're, a guy's here paddling. If you're over here, it's his or her priority or their priority. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, if you're inside where the wave's breaking, you know, if that makes any sense. Right, right, right. No, so I'm, I'm with you, yeah. They're already on the inside track, and then you try to jump on, and that's like a no. That's a no-no. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Never. A lot of people don't know that. Like, you'll... They'll just go and then. But now I do, so I'm. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you won't make that mistake. And the people that listen, they're they're gonna know too, which is important. Yeah. And we're 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 putting in some some time here to to tell the etiquette of of surfing. Yeah. 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 What's do you, do you remember the best wave you got? Um. No, I don't remember what the best wave. It's hard to judge, you know. Sure, There's been sure. a lot of waves. Yeah, yeah. Are you goofy or regular? What's your goofy? Which, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, it's the way to be. Sure. Yeah. Can't imagine going right. Do you? Did you skateboard as a kid? Yeah, I don't really skate anymore. Yeah. I can't afford to get hurt. I don't get any workman's comp or anything like that. Shape um, your own board though. That's pretty cool. Uh, that'd be cool. I I don't want to. I'd rather just pay someone else and and enjoy it and ride it. When was last? It's kind of like people are like, "Hey, don't you want to make your own guitar?" I'm like, "No, I really don't." I I want to just play it. I want to hand the money over and play it. Yeah. So when uh, when did you start learning guitar? When when did that come about? I was probably around twelve as well. Yeah. So I mean, so you really dropped all this shit that you did as a kid, and it, it never it never went through. Yeah. Yeah. Still doing the same old things. No, that that that's great, man. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. How when do you wait? When do you feel the most free when you're creating a song or when you're out there in the water just doing your thing? Um. Yeah, I feel the most free probably when I'm, yeah, just doing something, cruising in my van or riding my bike or surfing or um, sometimes being in the, like, in the process of trying to get a song together. It's, like, uh, uh, painful in some ways, you know? I'm, like, not painful in the sense of pain like it, it hurts, but uh, an emotional uh, thing or something. Yeah, I have a hard time deciding what I want to do, where I want to go, or second guessing is this even a good song? Yeah. Wait, is there is there like a point that you get to while writing that you're like, okay, this is this should be a full song. Like, this is not just an idea anymore. This is yeah, yeah, sure. Does it does it change every time, or is there just like a, a definite point with every song that you're like, okay, this is this should be should be we should go through this. We should be doing this song. Uh, I, yeah, it's a total feel thing. You just feel it. Like, and if the other guys aren't, it's like, well, my, the way I am, it's like, well, if you guys aren't, let's not do it. 
really like I don't want to do a song that you know my bandmates don't want to do sure sure so yeah that's good to have that I think a lot of other bands need to have that as well yeah 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 there's plenty of songs where everybody's you can all be into it so yeah yeah that's 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 the greatest songs right when everybody's feeling it yeah yeah are you do you bring something to the table after you're like working on it and kind of putting lyrics to it or are you bringing some like kind of bare bones stuff to the table yeah sometimes just bring a simple riff guitar riff or something Mm -hmm. yeah and then it develops further did you did you ever anticipate like the the most popular songs of Tijuana Panthers being the most popular songs? Did you ever think that Red Headed Girl was going to be a, a huge one? No, definitely not. Um, I I doubted the song. Like when we made it, I was like, yeah, I don't know if this is that great, you know, or it just wasn't. It wasn't really. It wasn't hitting me. Like it didn't, it didn't really, um, it didn't have like the ump for me, you know, I was like, I don't know if this is a good, this has got enough strength, but yeah, yeah. yeah, I was wrong. So I, I recognize that sometimes there's a song where you're not really feeling, but Hey, people might like it. Sure. Yeah. Have you ever came back to one of those songs that you weren't really feeling in the, you know, pass and then it it gets brought back up as an idea and it's it's put to the album. Yeah, that's happened before. I'm trying to think of an example. I can't think of any right now, but I know that's happened. Where it's like, oh, there's old riff. We we have our we used to record on the cassette quarter, like just put the cassette quarter in the room. And it all circles back, by the way. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, with the tape and um um. Yeah, sometimes just be going through the tapes and like, oh shoot, there's that cool riff that we never did anything with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. Do you? So I mean, like, what was what was the writing process for that lyrically for Redheaded Girl? Um, that was literally just thinking about a story from junior high school. Like, I mean, it's not so much a story; it's more just like a girl that was. She had bright red hair. And she had freckles, and she kind of got made fun of and ostracized, you know. And she, uh, I just remember her at the dances. This is sixth, seventh grade. I remember her going to the dances, and she wasn't popular. You know, kids weren't nice to her. They'd say mean things to her. And um, my heart kind of went out to her, but only in sentiment. I didn't really, I wasn't going to say anything to anybody. I especially wasn't going to talk to girls then. Um, I felt bad for her, you know, I had kind of like a love for her, not like romantic, like, oh, I want to be, um, you know, I've got a crush on her, just more like I, I felt really bad for her. Right. And I remember seeing her at the dances, like in her dress, like putting her best foot forward and, uh, her hair done and stuff and nobody really, she would just kind of stand in the corner. So I still have that image in my mind. Over. I hope she's doing good now. This is a John Hughes movie, A, for one. That's, yeah. That's, that is like a plot to it for sure. Yeah. Molly Ringwald, I could see it. Brad Pack style. Yeah, Molly Ringwald, though, she was kind of, yeah, she's a redhead, but she got a lot of good attention. You know, true. she's true. she's babe and for sure. not yeah. saying this girl's, she just didn't have that, she didn't have a Molly Ringwald look going on. That's true. You know, I, I I hear what you're saying, man. A lot of girls who I've talked to who are redhead, they, they always, they know that song. So which is which is pretty funny. I mean, like looking at it now. In <laughs> yeah, and it's not the song. I mean, the red red hair is not like my uh, prominent point to the song. It's just she happened to have red hair. And it she was, the was girl, made fun the girl, of. The, she was kind of awkward yeah. looking, you know, like she wasn't, she wasn't one of the popular kids, and yeah. yeah so, yeah. I wished I wouldn't have been so timid back then. Sure, you know, maybe I could have been cool to her, danced with her. I never asked a girl to dance. Couldn't do it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big dancer either. So I like to dance. I, I eventually, but yeah, I still, you know, asking a girl to dance. Yeah, it could. It that could, was tough. Yeah, yeah, sure. I, 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 uh, 
I like to think in those moments. I mean, obviously those moments don't come up now as often to, to ask a girl to dance, but uh, it's like we're all human, you know? What's the word she's going to say? No. You know? Yeah. Well, if I ever have like a son um, or a daughter, I guess it would maybe girls, I guess do, girls deal with that too, but. Sure. I would encourage not to the extent of a of a of a boy though. You know? Yeah, I think it's a little different. Yeah, it, is. And, uh, it is different. I would just encourage encourage him. Hey, don't uh, just because you're nervous or a little afraid of oh she might say no or whatever. And Take let it a chance, happen, man. Take live a chance. Yeah. Live in that moment too. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like to live in moments like that. So yeah. Like, oh. I wish I would have taken more. I played it so safe. Yeah. Like I could have had. I could have had more exciting stories if I didn't play it safe all the time, like junior high, high school. We well, yeah, had the FedEx one. That was pretty. I like that one. Yeah, that doesn't. I like that's the not, one. Yeah. I can't compare that to asking a girl to dance. You when know? when was last time you 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 saw this this girl? I mean, did you did you go to high school with her as no, well? No, no, it was just that was it. Yeah, I don't know her. Yeah, yeah. was your was your uh, was your junior high? Was it six, seven, eight, or just seven, eight? Yeah, six, seven, eight. Six, yeah. seven, eight. Yeah, some some people. It's seven eight, which is odd, or I, or seven eight nine. So yeah, I've 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 heard multiples of that, which is mm. really interesting. Wasn't what that wasn't my experience, but some people. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe a different state or something. Yeah, yeah. So um, you guys you guys got the the you're recording the new album right now. How 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 is that going so far? It's good. It's pretty much done. Well, I mean the recording part is done. Just yeah. Mixing and mastering. Just mixing, yeah. Nice. So. And all that is for us is just going back and listening to rough mixes and then refining them by giving the producer the notes. Here's, a, you know, maybe tweak this, tweak that. He just does it. It's easy. It's awesome, man. Yeah, we're not even in the studio for the mixing process, so. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. How do you feel about listening to your yourself or listening to, to your guitar part? Uh, sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm pretty self-critical. So, um, I like how the cloud went over the sun as you said that it got real dark in here. Yeah, both getting in dark, topic man. And getting in dark. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I, I mean, it's. I enjoy it. Sometimes I'll hear things like, "Ah, it doesn't sound as good as it sounded in my head," or how it sounded as it was coming out. It's weird hearing yourself. Oh, you know, it's like you don't really hear yourself until you hear yourself on a recording. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with that tonight for sure, looking it's, through this. Yeah, but I, I'm, I'm getting better at it. I say, you know what? That's, that's how I sound. Whether I like the way I sound or not, that's how I sound. You know. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of people deal with that. Easier said than done, though, as well. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's also a point in it, which is, which is good and bad. You, you just gotta, you gotta face it. I feel, or at least I gotta. I'm, I'm kind of talking about myself right now, which is. Which is usually how this podcast goes. It's all about you, man. Yeah. It's all about you. Yeah. I made it. That's why people tune in, right? Yeah. I told you 13 people, man. <laughs> 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 no, um, but I, I am grateful for everybody who who does listen. I, I, I appreciate you if, if we're going to keep this this video. We we as in me. I'm the, yeah. I'm the only person behind this, but which is nice, though, because it's like all the successes and whatever. Um missteps it's all on me which is nice you should just keep the we just start saying you've got a full-on crew and this is a big time yeah. operation man you're a big time operator yeah are we are we good over there are we good on sound we're good all right cool okay I, I, I just there you go go ahead yeah there we go something like that right they won't know yeah <laughs> now you're getting it jacob now you're getting it yeah, yeah yeah um do you have a personal favorite song from the t1 panthers discography um, I don't, I think like, I mean, this is an easy one, but I think probably Creature just because it brings back memories of, you know, like, I mean, it all brings back memories of the old days, but that that's kind of the song where it really felt like, oh, we're getting we're going further than I thought, which was like, oh, we're going to play the local bars here and there. 
and get like a f- couple free beers and maybe like a hundred bucks. <laughs> That's still a good night. <laughs> like when I, Creature uh, started to get, people started to sing Creature when we play. I'm like, oh shoot, maybe we're going to do, maybe we're going to do a little more than that. You know, like that song kind of, um, I guess it's n- nostalgic in that way. And it was kind of like, uh, a mark of greater greater success. I felt like yeah, yeah. You kind of time stamped the, the yeah. I felt like oh no, time. we're gonna go, we're gonna keep going, and we're we're gonna be doing other things other Outside than just of the playing. Pencils. The pencils playing are little, now. Do you want pencils? Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You bring up the pencils, you know about it. Yeah, man. I I did my research. I I I, I listen. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Huh? Nice. I like that. Getting real, uh, getting real obscure, man. I like to 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 bring out the the B sides and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, with the wasting time video, do do you recall filming that? That's funny that you ask that, because I was just watch showing somebody who had asked some videos and that video came on wait which i think there's two what's what happens in the video again wasting time is the one with you juggling the juggling ball the soccer ball okay i'm else. thinking of a different one never mind what was it what, what was one that you're thinking of though because all of them are great and the people should go and watch them all uh dan and you and phil all have a huge part in it it's great you can find them on yeah YouTube, leisures youtube uh, as, as well as maybe maybe the the crew cut one which is which is all black and white. Yeah, that was here, right here. We're I, sitting. I've, I, I've, I felt yeah, like, I felt like it was. Yeah. Yep. Which is good. Um, yeah, there was a video. I can't remember which song it was. This is a little while ago. I'm like, shoot, I don't remember filming that. I don't remember doing that. It was like, a Nobo, was it? No. That one was like a big. production. Yeah, one. more big. The big production ones I remember, like sure. with all the film crew and everything. Kind of like you've got for this podcast. Yeah. Like the crew people, the makeup people, and all that. Can we actually play that clip? We don't have, oh yeah, we don't have the rights for that. Uh, we don't have the rights for that. Sorry, man. Well, but we'll try to splice in later, but we'll yeah. see. Yeah. All right. Yeah. But continue. Yeah. Oh, uh, wasting time you asked about? Yes, wasting time, yeah. Who, who yeah, we were just on with? tour. We were just on tour. Okay. And uh I would bring a soccer ball with me and just every time we'd stop, like the van, just get out and juggle for a little while, like while we got gas or whatever. That was kinda like my exercise. So it's good exercise. It is for sure. It is. I needed to start doing that again. Just juggling the ball around, or just exercise yeah. in general. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I still surf, but I need to do more. I need to do some more cardio. And yeah. how wiped do you feel after like surfing for an hour? Uh, it depends on how hard I had to paddle. Uh oh, Amber Alert. It's, it's it's good. It's good ambiance for the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for handing me that. By the way, I appreciate it. Sorry, dude. Let's see. Wait, what was that? No, I no, I I, I just uh, thank the hand. Oh yeah, yeah. Hand Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but do you do you, do you recall filming that? Uh, that. Yeah, uh, I remember that tour. I. Guy, that might have been the tour we went with Tiger Army. Okay. <laughs> the Psychobilly tour, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I yeah I remember, I remember Tiger Army. I mean, yeah. not, not that they're gone, but I, I do. That, that name rings a bell for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I think I saw him once, potentially. But I could be just, you know, I'm just going to say that I did. And it was great. And uh, it was it was a great show. Yeah. Good job, it's Tiger good. Army. Yeah. Big Nick 13, baby. Nick 13. Yeah. I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and, and, yeah. and piggyback on that. Yeah. That's the singer. Yeah. Yeah, you know that. Oh, you know. Okay, okay. I, I, was, I, that, I don't know yeah, if you knew. It's on the notes over there. Yeah. 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 This, this, this is all this is all planned out this whole conversation it's not right like cuff at all no. sorry man i didn't know <laughs> um is there do you ever feel like really creative uh at certain points throughout the day or doing something i mean cause I, I i know you said like while you're working or, or while you're serving but is it is it just kind of like a creative flow that you come into naturally? yeah yeah it kind of comes in i can't turn it on there's no switch for it unfortunately i wish there was could you forcefully get into a creative mindset? I don't, do you think? I don't think I can. Yeah. And having the guitar in my hand doesn't help. I feel like when I come up with a good riff or or like a 
lyrical idea. It's when I'm away from any instrument or music and I'm doing something else like, you know, just walking around or having a coffee, just not, not trying to think of a song. Yeah. And that's, that's when it hits you. Yeah. Yeah. I remember I was on a bicycle and summer fun came to me. It's like riding home from going to college at the time. And, uh, just riding home on my bike and just came just came to me. Like that, the, that was like in the winter the, time, right? You were riding around. You're like, it's summer fun, not winter dreariness. Mm, I don't remember when it was. Yeah, Autumn, perhaps. Probably wasn't too cold because if it was too cold, I probably wouldn't have rode. I'm kind of wussy, you know. I don't want to ride in the real harsh cold. Sure, sure, sure. But, I mean, you, you get on that surfboard whenever, right? Yeah, I put the wetsuit yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you ever surf with just board shorts? Um, yeah, I mean, I have, I haven't really done that this summer cause I've been going pretty early. So I've been kind of wussy, you know, just what's, like putting the suit on. What's early? Five? five uh, three. no, like six. Three thirty. Getting out at six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever, do you ever go out at night? Mm, at night? Like yeah. in the dark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Would you, would you be opposed to that? If, if uh, yeah, I don't really want to surf at night. I want to be able to see the waves coming in. Sure. If also, you just catch one. It's, it's not looking. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice to see what you're doing, though. That's that's it's also a plus. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna debate that. Yeah. Um, but uh, do you? Had, by the way, how old are you when you got your uh, your license? How old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. You, so you you got it right when you could. Yeah. Yeah, I, that, that looked that sound like somebody ran over something. There's a big bump out there. Yeah, what was the bump? That, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Can we shut that window, guys? All right. Yeah, Good. yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're they're on it. I I think we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you you got the show coming up, which which will be nice. It's gonna break the hiatus, correct? Yeah, and then we got another one. Is it October 1st or is it September? I think it's October. Like Vegas, Palm Springs. Yeah. Is, is so. Phil going to come out for that one? Um. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he'll be at all these shows. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. That'd be he just, really cool. Yeah, he was just taking a break from touring, but um, we're kind of all taking a break from touring. So much needed. It was going to happen either way, right? He yeah, just, like, just wiped, and he was like, I don't, "Yeah, I don't care if I can't because I I won't anyways." Right? Yeah, yeah. What was the oddest show you ever played? If you, if you could think back to that, oh, probably. I mean, there's been some odd ones, especially in the early days. Um, like we played some pretty bad shows with like five people there, or whatever. Was this um, the chugging Pepto Bismol days? Yeah, more of those days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I needed it before the. I've been able to get through shows, even bigger ones, which is a pretty impressive for me. Oh, for without, sure. Without you know, the nerves hitting, pooping my pants or anything. Yeah, I mean that's never happened, but but almost maybe. Yeah, sometimes the nerves you feel you feel like that. Jittery, kind of nervous, kind of kind of excited. Yeah, anxious. Just just kind of like never thrown up or anything like that. Yeah. Um, That's good, by the way. But the strangest show, maybe we were on a little tour. Like it was one of our first tours, and we stopped by Reno. And um, I love Reno. It's just kind of, it just, it's there. Yeah, there's just something about it. I kind of, it's kind of trashy and. Yep. Um. We we played this. It's interesting to go to a city where you're like, what what could be going on here? Like, what cool stuff could be happening? No offense to anybody from Reno. I don't. No, no. I don't no. want to sound like I'm dogging Reno. I really do like it. I you, just I wouldn't expect. Right? You're doing 14, yeah. I got a residency up there. Days. Yeah, fourteen days in a row. Uh, I would think you'd do fifteen, but fourteen. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah. It's tomorrow, right? It starts tomorrow. Uh, yeah. This this will be it'll be done, but. 
you know, hopefully it goes well. Anyways, continues. But when you're yeah. when you're first out there, uh, yeah, where was I? Oh yeah, I. It was interesting to see like here's the indie kids at Reno. Like this is the spot. It's this house. This kid that throws shows, and you play down in the basement. And it was really interesting. I was like, huh. Yeah, this is this is a scene. This is like the scene out here, or one of the scenes anyway. And um, yeah, it was it was really weird because it was in a basement. It sounded terrible. Uh, it wasn't super pleasant, you know. The they had like a Bible that they had nailed to a one of the pillars of the oh, floor, yeah, the and beams. I was like, oh, they're doing like the whole like you know devil thing or whatever you yeah, look at us for um, satanists what i don't know yeah. i don't know it was just interesting i mean it was edgy it, it was edgy man it was edgy um that probably in wasn't the, the weirdest yeah probably uh, there's probably some other ones i just how did how did they how before. did they get in contact with you were they just like hey do you want to play i this? think there was just this kid that was known for putting on shows in Reno and when bands were coming through they would stop there and it's kind of cool like I support it's, it's kind of cool to just see um, be a part of their little scene that they had going yeah. and come through it actually is pretty cool when you when yeah you, when, you, when you find those things like oh I stumble across like this is the this is the yeah. hot spot yeah. I like going like touring and going to midwest cities or whatever where like oh it's kind of sleepy here, but it was, ca- it was kind of cool to see the p- who who comes out and how they are as people and yeah yeah, yeah it's just kind of interesting. I mean because we're growing up in L.A. and being right at the hub of where all the the hot stuff is going on. Per usual, it's sure. Kind of I kind of appreciated going somewhere else where it's not like the hot city to be at and just see what they how their venues are and what they're into. Yeah. What, yeah, they, what they're doing out there. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Like yeah. one time in Bakersfield, I had fun at a show in Bakersfield at this venue, this bar. I was like, this is kind of cool. Bakersfield. I don't know. Just something about it. It's about going. It's probably what it is. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and on the streets of Bakersfield. Merle Haggard. Is, is he also from Bakersfield? Pretty sure Merle Haggard. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Man. I think so. I could be wrong. That's two. Yeah. That's two. That's two pretty good acts coming from Bakersfield. Yeah. 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 Uh, is there, was there, was there any moments on, on the road that kind of opened up your eyes? Like, whoa, this is, I mean, kind of in the vein of what you're saying before that it's just different. It's like, this is way different than, uh, than what I'm used to besides basement shows. Um, moments on the road that something different, like something. Yeah. That you're like, oh, this is, this is interesting. Um, I, I'd say just going to like a a town where there's not much going on and pulling up to a venue, there's no people around really. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere sort of. And then people come from other places to come to the venue. And that's a really different feeling rather than being in the big city and like driving in traffic to get to the venue or whatever, you know, being in Chicago or New York or a major hub. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of a, different feeling yeah yeah is it what is is there any states that you visit you're like i could i could see myself living here uh yeah midwest midwest states i don't know like I, we were in kansas i don't even remember what city we were in uh or was it kansas or was it dang it i can't remember now let's just say it's i liked the city yeah, i liked yeah. it okay um, wichita that's what it was yeah, whatever it was. I liked, like, the old town, like, the main thoroughfare was cool. There was a bunch of cool shops or some good food, and people seemed nice. I dug it. Yeah, that, that, um, that's cool when there's nice people. There was a cool record shop. Like, they had a bunch of cool records. Yeah, yeah. Have, you, have you picked up records on the road and then brought back? Yeah. Yeah, I have. Did it make the trek back? Yeah. All yeah. of them? Yeah. Wow. That's, I mean, that's that's good, because Melt. I, I, sh- I, I brought a... I bought a record in Hawaii one time. I was like, I don't know how this, you know, I don't know how this is going to go. Yeah. It actually worked out. Yeah. You yeah. Keep it uh, from getting bent or, yeah. 
Yeah, you're good. On the on the plane flight, it was actually a Rolling Stones. Now that was that was the the record. And then um, it turned out it wasn't. Now it was uh, Sticky Fingers. That was oh, inside. you didn't open it up? No, I did. I did not. I didn't open it. I was like, oh, awesome. Actually, you know, you know what it, it was? was sealed? It or was, uh, obviously not not sealed, but no, it was, no, had it, like a case where they yeah, taped it was it just it was just the oh, the, I see. Loose. Yeah, that sucks. So maybe she just grabbed the wrong one and just threw it in there. It's like, okay, there you go. Yeah, but sorry, man. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's not your fault. It's Mick Jagger's fault, if anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or whatever, Brian Jones. Whoever you want to pin it on. Whatevers, man. As they say in Hawaii, whatevers. Yeah, yeah. Or at least uh, Vince Moaloka says that. Yeah, for you sure. Know, you you know, you catching my vibe here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. good, good. I'm just checking. Sorry. I you shouldn't know, second you, guess you. You know I surf, dude. You yeah. You know I surf. Yeah, yeah. You know I'm out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I took her phone away. The end um, so- the ending song on the... Um, Ghost food. Ghost food. Yeah. Frankly, w- was that w- was that message that you're leaving for somebody? That's that's the over, the over. Uh, no, the no. Yeah. Dan and Phil were just asking me questions and then having me respond. Man, yeah, I feel like I asked you that question the last time I was here. Yeah, or maybe I, I don't yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah probably. I don't remember either. But you know, it, it's it's good to hear it again. Yeah. Um, I'd like to hear that Joe B. Offer story again. No, <laughs> but you, but you, you do have a great. And I I said it before. I'll say it again perfect Joel B. Offer impression if you want to hear that you can go and check out the the first episode I, d- I did with you which was I believe number like 12 or something like that now now it's gonna be like the 53rd yeah a long time ago yeah yeah, yeah. I I'm, I'm I'm so glad to have you and Phil and I, I'm 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 shooting for Dan I'm gonna try to figure that out and yeah uh, Phil said he's like all right yeah like I was I was on twice I don't have much to say for, I'm, I'm gonna try to get him on the third one for next year. Yeah, it's totally, man. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like trick him into it or something. Yeah, yeah. He'll do it. He'll yeah, do it. Yeah. Um, a lot of the people though that I've had on, it's like, oh, you, you had Chad or Phil or Dan on from Team on Panthers. That's sick. Everybody always says that. And that's great. And you know yeah. what? That's a great way to end it off, right there. Um, on the buzzing. Yeah, that's it, huh? Yeah. Amber alert. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a, that's a great one. But um, so real quick, everybody could stream, um, pull the shoot. That's the newest yeah. EP, right? Um, definitely check that out. Highly recommend it. Uh, ride Thanks, my man. bike. It's a good one. Yeah, I was Thank assuming you. that that was in your car that you that you wrote that one, right? Uh, yeah, I think it was. I think I was just like driving the, yeah, cruising around like on the highway. Yeah, the land of love. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Land of love, baby. Very nice. Yeah, the, and um, what was what was the other one that that, that was on? You, you sang another one, correct? Uh, yeah. Um, phone girl. Yes, yes, yes. And then current outfit, yeah, and yeah. then Dan had socks, La Vida. Yeah. Great, great, great. Yeah. And uh, yeah, man, that's that that's great. And so the people can check that out. It's on the Bandcamp, I believe. Yeah. Uh, no physical releases of that yet. No, all I, digital. Uh, yeah. Just digital, yeah. All digital. But the next album will there'll be vinyl for it. So awesome. Alpha Innovative, right? There's, there's yeah, Innovative still. Yeah. Sick. Okay, so be sh- be sure to check that out. Do you do you have a release? I mean, not yet, but it's it's coming out. It's coming soon. It's being mixed and mastered. Uh, I don't I don't know when it's coming. To be honest with you, but it's coming. So check. It's it. coming at some time. It's coming. It's yeah. Coming. Uh, we don't have an album name yet. So Ghost Food, Wayne Interest, the self, uh, Mac, Max Baker, the first one. Um, uh, carpet denim. Carpet and denim. And I mean, you guys, semi-sweet. Are you guys gonna stop? Sheesh, man. Fine. No, that's maybe we'll take a break after this one. I, I wish you wouldn't, man. But anyways, yeah. Uh, we'll all see. available on. Uh, I I believe Interview Leisure has, still has like records and stuff. So be yeah. sure to to help you guys out. And uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Is, is is there anything else you want to add to this before we stop? That was good. That was good. That was great. I just want to thank you and the crew. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it.